In a separate video, we spoke about the cut, copy, and paste functions within an Excel spreadsheet and how to use those features. Well, there's another aspect of the paste feature, which is called paste special. Paste special in Excel is a frequently used feature that allows you to specify exactly what aspects of your source data you'd like to paste into the destination cells. This could include just the values and leave your formulas behind. It could include the formatting of the cells. It could include uh, other attributes such as borders. And you can also use this to perform a calculation. Let's uh, demonstrate how this works. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and say I want to go ahead and copy uh, column F, the gross amount for 2006. Now, notice here, column F, each one of these numbers is actually the result of a calculation. I can tell that by looking in my formula bar, and I see it's actually adding the contents of the cells in the rows to the left of column F. Now, if I want to go ahead and copy that column, but just the values, I can use Paste Special to do so. So I select what it is I'd like to copy. I go up to my Home tab of my ribbon. I can click on the Copy command. Control C if you like, or you can also right click on your selected range and then choose copy. You'll notice you get the little moving border or the marquee around the range of cells you're going to copy that have been copied to the clipboard. I'm going to copy these a little bit further down, so I'm going to go down a few rows and click where I want my cells to be pasted to. Now for paste special, I'm going to go back up to my ribbon. I have the paste option and there's a little drop down arrow at the bottom. If I click that, it expands out. And I'm going to go down to where it says Paste Special so we can take a look at the Paste Special dialog. And here it is. Now the Paste Special dialog gives you a series of options. The default is All, and if you choose All, it'll just be the same thing as a regular copy and paste. Or you notice you can copy just the formulas, just the values. So if you want to leave the formulas behind, say you don't want or you don't need somebody to see the underlying formulas or functions you used in your calculation, you can paste just the values and that will give just the numbers with no underlying formulas or functions. You can paste just the formats of the cells or the comments or if you have any validation rules, you have additional options in here you can use on the right side as well. Other attributes and aspects of your source information you can copy and paste into the destination using Paste Special. This one's help, helpful right here, values and number formats. Because if you have your number, your number is formatted a certain way for accounting or for currency where you have a currency symbol as well as the comma in the decimal place, you might want to copy the values and the number formats. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And I'm going to say OK. And what it does is it brings down and copies and pastes my information in down below where it kept the formats intact for my numbers and also, if I click on any of these numbers and I notice up in the formula bar, it just gives me the number. It does not give me the formula that underlies that number that I have if I go to the source data. So this is how you paste your data, your numbers, your values, without pasting the underlying formulas using Paste Special and selecting values. All right, I'm going to go ahead and undo and go back a few steps here. I'm going to hit Escape to get rid of that moving border. And I'm going to show you how you can also use Paste Special to perform a calculation. This is a really handy, pretty neat feature. Say I want to determine the combined salaries for these employees for both 2006 and 2007. So I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to type in the heading here, 2006 and 2007 combined. All right. All right, I'm going to select the range of cells under the 2006 salary numbers. I'm going to come up to my ribbon and I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to come down below and click where I want the result to go. I'm going to go to the paste command at the back on the ribbon again. Click the drop down. I'm going to select paste special. Since I know I want to paste the values, I can also just choose paste values from the drop down. But we better get acquainted with the menu here and the options. I'm going to say paste values, but since I want the number formats as well, I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose OK. All right, so what that did is that duplicated the information I had in column D up above. Now what I want to do is I want to take what exists in my 
column H, the new 2007 salary values, and paste it over the same range and use the add operator to... All right, with our range selected that we want to copy, we've, we've copied to the clipboard. I'm going to click the destination where I want that information to be added to. It's important to designate or specify where you want the pasted results to go. I then go to the paste icon on the ribbon, click the drop down, select paste special. I'm going to say values and number formats and I'm under operation I'm going to choose add. Notice you can also use subtract, multiply and divide. But here we're going to add the contents of column H with what we've already copied into column F down below. I say OK and that then shows me the result of what each of these employees' salaries will amount to over the course of the two years. Very handy feature using Paste Special.